Hey, what's good guys? It's Zach. Hope you all are doing well. In this video, we're going to be taking a quick look at the Honor 7X in this unboxing. Uh, now, I just got this in yesterday, two days ago actually. I got this in two days ago. And uh, yeah, so if you guys don't already know, uh, the Honor X line of phones are like, really good budget phones. So uh, yeah, if you're looking for a really good budget phone, then this is something you're going to want to take a look at. This goes for $200. So if you guys are interested, link is down below in the description. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this tape here. There we go. And there we go. So, all right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and lift the top here. All right. So apparently this phone has some pretty impressive specs. Again, 200 bucks. What can you really get for 200 bucks nowadays? Well, actually a pretty darn good phone. So there's the SIM ejection tool. Let me Take a look at this real quick. Looks pretty interesting. That's a pretty interesting looking SIM ejection tool right there, but I kind of like it. All right, let's toss that right there. See what else we have in the box. Okay, usual manuals and things. We also get a case. Take a look at this real quick. Just your basic clear TPU case, not going to protect from heavy drops or anything like that, but it is scratch resistant. So there you go. You're definitely going to want to protect your phone from that. So there's that and then we also have the wall adapter and i'm gonna go ahead and assume that this is a micro usb cable uh let's see yep looks to be micro usb i don't understand let's take a look at this phone here all right all right i'm liking this already so uh let's get all this stuff out the way all right so here we go here is the honor 7x let me know what you guys think of the look of this phone i think it looks really nice especially in this blue color we've got dual lenses fingerprint reader right there and it is pretty cold right now and uh, let's go ahead and compare it here to the pixel 2 xl it's very very comparable in size in fact they've got about the same screen size and as you can see here, pretty much the same exact footprint as well. So let me know what you guys think of that. And I guess while I have it over here, I will go ahead and compare it to the Galaxy Note 8. All right, there's the footprint right there. Let me know what you guys think about that. And uh, yeah, so again, 200 bucks. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the uh, specs here. So Android 7.0, uh, again, you've got that 33, 40 milliamp hour battery, 1080p screen. And in fact, actually, you know what? I think it is a 2K display. So we're gonna have to take a look at that. And you have a main 16 megapixel camera, as well as some secondary cameras there as well. But let's go ahead and power it up. I believe it is running Android 7.0. Uh, not too sure when it's gonna get uh, Oreo, hopefully sooner rather than later. But taking a look around the phone, it actually doesn't look that bad. You have that really large display. Uh, reminds me of the 5T just a little bit. Again, dual lenses, fingerprint reader. Uh, it does have a headphone jack, which is very, very important. Micro USB charging port right there. Speaker on the bottom. And yeah, all right, so there you go. It's very nice. It's It's got a very premium feel in the hand and I am very impressed with that. All right, so now I'm at the point in the setup where I set up the fingerprint. Let's go ahead and see how quickly we can do this. All right, it's not too bad. It's reading the fingerprint, no errors or anything like that. All right, not too bad. All right, that was pretty quick. Now, one thing I will mention, uh, this is pretty nitpicky on my end, but at the same time, it is kind of annoying. Um, this is seen with pretty much every budget phone that I've tried. The vibration motor isn't that great when I was typing in the Wi-Fi password and even when I was, you know, enabling my fingerprint and all that stuff. The vibration motor is very weak and that is very disappointing because the phone is built very nicely. In fact, I think the last Honor phone besides the 6X that I tried out was the Honor 8 and that phone was super, super nice. Of course, it's not a budget budget phone, but uh, it, it had a very nice vibration motor and it really added to the user experience on this one unfortunately it just doesn't have that all right so here we are at the home screen we've got emui here your typical huawei honor you know setup here very basic very themed of course all right let's see so we pinch to manage the home take a look at some of the wallpapers here i will say that the screen looks very nice uh, that's a pretty cool wallpaper. I think I'll just stick to this one for now. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's pretty basic in terms of software. Uh, I will definitely have to check out the rest of the phone here. Really interested in these dual cameras and how they handled it. I'm not too sure what they really did with these cameras, but first impressions, just looking around, this is the exact opposite of what I was expecting from this $200 phone. It actually looks pretty good, nice and sharp. Okay, we're gonna have to see what this is like in real world usage, but I mean, so far, this is looking good. I'm impressed. All right, so the hardware is good. I'm really interested in the battery life 
and uh, the cameras are looking good. The screen is very nice. I'm I'm impressed. I'm impressed so far. 200 bucks for this phone, and uh, yeah, we're gonna have to test it out and see what it's like as a daily driver. Stay tuned. Keep it locked to the Android Police channel where I will have a full review video on this phone. And uh, yeah, I mean, so far so good. If I had to give you guys a recommendation, I would definitely check it out. Um, it looks like it's got the full package here again for a $200 phone. And that fingerprint reader, as always, I mean, Honor devices, man, they do a really good job with the fingerprint readers, I gotta say, on their phones. Yeah, it's it's instant. It's really nice. So yeah, definitely check out this phone. That does it for uh, the first impressions and the unboxing, of course. Uh, let me know if you guys like the look of this phone. Maybe you're interested in picking it up or for somebody else. And uh, yeah, link to it down below in the description. You can get it from their site or you can get it from Amazon either way. And uh, yeah, so that does it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That does it for me. I will talk to you guys in the very next video and thank you so much for watching.